Hey guys, what the hell is up? It's Mr. Unloaded. Kind of going to give you a uh, take today to instead of giving you guys a review, also give you guys some bad news. Um, everybody that's compliant, everybody that lives in California knows what's going on with California and uh, gonna get on whatever they want to call it. Um, there's a couple more, basically just more nails in the coffin and basically just let everybody know this is basically it. I mean, you can't do anything else. I actually saw a tweet right here that I'm going to post up in about two seconds about, um, you can see it right there. It's Arsenal and California Compliant Construction. In case you guys don't know, Arsenal Incorporated is one of the first ones to actually manufacture California Compliant uh, a case. So basically what you do is you'd actually buy it from them and you, and you can get straight from California. No issue. You don't have to update anything. You have to put a bullet button because it's already pretty much done for you. Um, so the tweet, as it states, says, uh, where do we start? Okay. Arsenal Incorporated appreciates this the Second Amendment supporters and our enthusiasts from California. And we remain dictated to the right to bear arms for everyone. However, given the current laws and regulations in California, with less than three months left for the new laws to take effect, which you guys know is pretty much no, no assault rifle sales after the end of the year, we were good to announce that the production of our two of our California compliant rifles, which are the only ones they have, the SAM 7SF84C and the SAM 7UF85C, has come to an end as of October 10th. So yesterday is when they just completely just cut them all loose and it's pretty much done. All components for making the SAM, uh, SAM 7UF, sorry about that, and SAM 7SF into fixed California compliant rifles have been manufactured and the last units have actually rolled out. So literally yesterday you just pushed it through and that was the last one that actually came out. So if you have one, uh, basically what they're saying is Arsenal is neither the first nor the last to take this action. Though production has seized, California residents may still be able to find one on the shelf, though not likely for very long. Here are the details on not continue discontinued models. So that was a tweet that they gave us right then and there for what happened to them. And believe it or not, that's actually not the only people who are actually having issues with California. Believe it or not, uh, also the other companies I'm talking about is right off the bat that I know two big companies is Smith and Wesson and Ruger. Believe it or not, Smith and Wesson and Ruger um, are actually being pushed out at this very moment. But you would think that'd be for assault rifles. No. They're actually being pushed out because of the new semi automatics are coming out. Okay, guys, basically what that means Smith & Wesson is actually halting sales to California because of micro stamping. In case you don't know, this is the definition of micro stamping in California. I'll definitely post with that. I'll definitely post this link in the description because I'm actually reading this off of guns.com because I've been trying to find out more stuff about this. Basically, so far, what this says is California currently requires all handguns sold in the state to be approved to meet all current laws and added to a roster. Once approved, the manufacturer has to pay $200 per model per year to remain on this list. However, if the laws change such as the state's recent implementation of micro sampling, the guns on the list would have to be re-examined. There are uh, 1,152 models on the state's database and alerts to send out to... Basically, basically what they're saying is they, they were tripping out about this and uh, as of right now, they're halting semi-automatics. So what the problem is that the micro sampling doesn't apply to revolvers. The reason why is because you can't swap out mags as fast and they're afraid of basically any kind of incident where a shooting or anything happens but they don't understand that just because you limit a gun fuel can still get good enough to actually shoot a revolver as good as a semi-automatic or faster it doesn't really matter um the way they're looking at it is they're saying that this micro stamping from what they are saying uh is basically going to help them solve crimes easier be able to find our firearms a lot easier and basically verify who they are but i mean there's always a way to get around the system, they, they just don't see that, and basically what the problem is, is this $200 stamp. If they do decide to go through with it, that's going to be charged up to you guys. It's a, there's, there's no way around it. I mean, that company's not going to take the big hit of $200 per model to per year, and they have to be re-examined ever so often whenever their uh, firearm changes or the law changes over there in California, which changes all the time. I mean, they, really have, they literally have laws just being incorporated all the time over there. So... As of right now, it's pretty much screwed. I really can't say much. I mean, they even caught up with the the C, basically the CEO of Ruger, and talked to him. Um, basically, and I quote, he says, uh, "We're being forced out of state by the California Department of Justice." Explained Pfeiffer, this insistence of micro sampling, which doesn't work, is denying your rights to have access to guns. He's basically saying, and he also goes on to say, "We're not abandoning California, the California market at all. We are trying our hardest to stay on the market." Um, we're fight. He basically says we're fighting every inch of the way, but they're kind of losing. And the other thing too is, I mean, you gotta admit too, guys, they're not trying to. If you if you really think that they're not gonna quit on you guys, because there's 12% profit margin for Smith and Wesson and Ruger from sales from California. So I mean, when they say they're trying, they actually really are trying. Nobody wants to lose a customer or sales. I mean, it makes them look bad. 
And the messed up part too about it is, I mean, we're, they're basically wanting to say is, what's going to happen when they explain to their people is like, we can't make sales because, you know, we lost California. We cannot sell in California. And it's, so far it goes just the same automatics. Um, they're saying that they're implementing all that stuff to just help everybody else. And I feel like they're just kind of doing it. The, really, I think the, ma the, the matter, the, the, the meat of the problem basically is like, they're, they're trying to physically... Uh, basically do basically just try to push everything out all guns I mean, right now it's semi-automatics being uh re-examined to see if the models are okay then how do you know next year they're not going to take off those 1152 models and knock it down to 700 and how do you know the air guns not going to be eventually considered illegal in their state i mean i feel like what they're doing is they're trying to slowly but surely push every gun out not just rifles not just assault rifles not just hunting rifles not just pistols not just revolvers not just shotguns just everything to a point where I mean, the civilians are going to be defenseless. Um, as far as anything, guys, I know this has been a bad day in news <laughs> for gun stuff. I just figured I would share it with you guys because I mean, it was on uh, recoil, and I know a lot of people don't really follow me on Twitter, but I know that a couple people in California don't even know what's going on yet because of this, and there is a couple AK-47 lovers and the whole Arsenal thing, and then on top of that, the fact that Ruger and Smith the Wesson might not show their new models right next year because of this micro stamp. So, in case you guys want to look into that, I'll put a link in the description at the bottom, and uh, I retweeted that thing on Twitter if you guys want to follow me on there, so if you guys, uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, uh, please like the channel, and uh, like this video, I'm sorry, and uh, follow my channel, follow me on Twitter, and uh, let me know what you, to, what you guys think about the one, uh, about, <laughs> let me know what you guys think down at the bottom in the comments about, do you think this micro is fair, do you think it's gonna work out and actually help the system, or do you think it's just kind of a lot of BS, so, uh, until next time, just go and uh, I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace.